Earlier in the year, my battle was with earwigs. And now, it's with squash bugs and aphids. And Mary doesn't like to eat those either. Well, I don't know about you, fellow gardeners, but gardening for me is very therapeutic. I love going out there every morning and seeing what's new, seeing if I can find some produce, checking to see how everything's growing. Fortunately, for the last couple of years, I have had plenty of time to get out in my garden every day. And because of that, I have been able to find those pesky little pests and I can keep things under control. Well, this year I got a little bit busy with life. You know, that happens sometimes. And I wasn't able to get out into the garden every day. And when I finally got out there, thousands and thousands of squash bugs. Fortunately, they hadn't moved to my cucumbers or to my pumpkins or to anything else. They were just on one summer squash and my tower of winter squash and they have gone crazy now i've tried soapy water on them and for the little guys that works great i sprayed it on and man they would just keeled over and they were gone but the adults were a little bit tricky and i just have a difficult time taking them and squishing them y yeah especially so many you couldn't smell it it was it was really <laughs> gross and bad but I think for now I have won the battle I think I've gotten it under control and my little squash babies are gonna be safe for a while and I get to eat them and not the bugs the other thing that I knew was coming is aphids and this year I have more things for them to get excited about so every day I go out there and check the leaves they do do damage I see all these curly little leaves on my Brussels sprouts and on my broccoli they are just an annoyance they're horrible now a lot of people say you know we just squirt them off with water well I, that just doesn't work that doesn't last and and it seems like they just dry off and oh let's find a new plant to get on what I have found really works is just a little bit of soap in water maybe like a half a tablespoon in a spray bottle of water that's all it takes and I just saturate all those little guys in soapy water and it's been doing the trick it kills them it kills them and they're gone and they don't really come right back. Yes, gardeners, get out there every day in your garden. Enjoy it, relax, water it, look at it, and watch out for those pesky bugs and get them gone right at the beginning instead of having an infestation like I did. <laughs> well, thanks for watching the Figs Fowl Farm. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Tell me what works for you on different kinds of bugs and critters in your garden. And we'll see you next time. Enjoy your gardening. Brassicas are what the little aphids go for. Things like kale and cauliflower and broccoli and Brussels sprouts, all of those kinds of plants. But the little squash bugs, they go for the cucubines, they're called, and those are all of the squashes and pumpkins and cucumbers and things like that. A little bit of education for you on the types of plants and the types of bugs that like them. I gotta, <coughs> I gotta find a different way to kill these guys. <laughs>